Zendrin, and now I'm going to do a bit more of an advanced equipment tutorial. And what this is, this is going to explain more things about the advantages and disadvantages of certain equipment, and how you should use equipment for certain builds, or how you should choose your equipment for your build. Now, one thing you'll notice is that if you are a mage, a mercenary, or a bounty hunter, there are some skills that you cannot use with a sword. Although swords are very powerful, let's say I'm a mage, you know, weapon required, staff. 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 So, if I don't have a staff on, let's say I'm using a sword, I can't use Supercharge, Plasma Rain, Overload, or Plasma Bolt, or Bludgeon. Now, these four aren't really a big deal, but Bludgeon can be very useful at times, so you want to make sure you really choose whether you want a sword build or a staff build. I myself don't really use Bludgeon, because I don't really particularly find that I need it. If there's a staff that's as good as a sword, then yes, I will use the staff. Now, it's argued that Azrael is the best weapon in the game, and I don't, I'd say it's tied with the swords, to be honest, but in terms of its stats, although Azrael is a bit weaker, but the uh, bludgeon kind of makes up for it, but I just prefer swords, even though Azrael is technically a little bit better than Rick's Ripper and the uh, Imperial War Axe or the uh, Liberty Scythe, things like that. So... And also, I don't like Azrael's 40 technology requirement, and that's the main thing that really puts me off of it. But, you know, level 33 comes by, I might be uh, looking at Azrael again, because my uh, technology, I'll have those uh, four extra points to be able to put into technology and equip Azrael anyways. But the problem is, it's got less stat points, and I'd have to put more varium into enhancing it, and it's got less damage, so I just don't know if it'd be worth it. Also, it's energy, so that's another reason I don't like it. Okay, now for equipment. One thing you want to make sure you know is that damage and stats balance out in a way. Meaning that damage is equal to a certain number of stats depending on your weapon. Now, it's basically been agreed that on a weapon, a primary weapon, every one damage is worth 4 stat points. So see how I have right now 28 stat points? If I were to lower this damage to 27, uh, it would be put into four stat points here if I if it was to trade off. You know, down to 27, and then here goes up to 32. The reason for that is each four stat points, every four stat points, increases your strength by one increment. So it's basically decided that since you can use your primary every turn, four stat points into strength would essentially do the same thing. Well, that's not entirely true. That's just how it's seen. And it's done for convenience. With sidearms... It would be one damage is two stat points because you can't use it as much as your gun, but or as your uh, primary. However, the gun is unblockable, so one damage is worth two stat points. For auxiliaries, I'd say one damage is only worth one stat point. So if this only had 29, one of these would only be boosted by one. And by the way, guys, the beta weapons, Night Wraith uh, and Titan, they actually forgot something. They didn't put all the stat boosts on it. They boosted the beta weapons, but they uh, they forgot some of them. So they're going to be getting even stronger in Gamma 1.1. Or 1.1.1, but whatever. And uh, one thing you want to make sure is that your equipment works for the build you want. Because requirements can really screw you over. As you can see, the beta weapons have no requirements, but they aren't exactly the strongest weapons out there. You can see they only have 28 damage. They are still very good, especially considering I'm level 26, it's ridiculous. But, uh, requirements really can basically decide your build for you, because they won't let you customize your stats as much if the requirements are high. For example, Jester Staff requires 50 Dexterity, so your Dexterity is going to be really high no matter what, so you're going to have to go with a Dex build almost always. And for Azrael, it's got 40 tech, which isn't high, but some people don't want 40 tech, you know what I'm saying? Like, I only have 30 myself. This is a 2 versus 2 build designed to work specifically with a specific level 32 person while we're doing 2v2 in Doom, so this build isn't exactly the most optional. Or, pfft, optional. Not what I meant. The most optimal. Optimal. Sorry about that. But it does work. One thing is with auxiliary weapons, always go for more stats. More stats is essentially what you want your auxiliary for. It's definitely the main use of the auxiliary weapon. If you're giving up, like one damage for one stat point, go for the one stat point. 
because in the long run it's going to help you out because your stat points come into play every single turn whereas your auxiliary it's going to come into play at most every four turns so every four turns you of one more damage at minimum or maximum sorry no minimum but no maximum Pfft, i'm stupid today or having one extra stat point every single turn so that's what the main thing i use auxiliaries for is just for stats for your primary weapon you want a good damage as well as good stats if one thing gives one more damage but loses like six stats it's not necessarily worth it unless it is a gun if you give like one damage to the gun in exchange for four stats that can work if your deadly aim makes up for it if your deadly aim does not make up for the loss of stats i'd say just go with a higher stat point gun and then for your auxiliary, like I said, it's all about the stat points. And then armor. Armor is just whatever is best. Whatever suits your build the most. Right now I have strength 6, technology 6. I might buy a new armor set later or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a seraph armor. We'll see. But that's the main thing you need to know about equipment when you're choosing it. Is that for weapons, your primary... Make sure you have a good balance between damage and stats, unless you're a non-variant, in which case, most of the time you're going to have an extreme stat weapon with low damage. For your gun, you want a fairly good balance, but I'd say prioritize stats unless your deadly aim makes up for it. Otherwise, just go for the stats. And for your armor, it doesn't matter, it's what's best. Bazooka, always stats. Stats are the most important part of the bazooka, in my opinion. And then here, your basic boosters. I generally carry an energy and a health booster for 2 versus 2, and 2 health boosters for 1 versus 1. And I don't have a robot on this character, but robots are kind of hard to decide. Because the thing is, Assault Bot and Gamma Bot are very useful, but you can't use them both at the same time. The thing is, the Gamma Bot is going to be useful because it can get rid of some of these uh, debuffs that players put on you. However, the Gamma Bot is going to allow you to have two extra attacks and if you have five focus those two attacks could be super powered like they could be hitting extremely high so it's do you want to risk getting debuffed and not being able to do as much about it or not being able to do it without MP or do you want to be able to have two really strong attacks if your focus is high now that's completely up to preference currently with because there's only two robots but both of them are good options if you know how to do it but that's all for this video for the most part, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching the video.